and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a colorful eye look for you. I tried to keep it kind of dark because I didn't want it to be full on springtime, but it kind of reminds me of flowers anyway. Yeah. Point being, um, yeah, this is what we're going to do today. By the way, if you want to see more tutorials of me, you can always subscribe to my channel. And for now, let's get started on this one. We're going to start off up close and personal immediately this time. Um, yeah, for those of you who've seen it, um, Two weeks ago when I'm filming this, I posted a post or well, a poll at least on YouTube um, asking which of three color combinations you would want to see a look of the most. Um, and now it's like the weekend after I posted that and like time is a complicated thing. Anyway, um, but yeah, the one who won the color combination that won is uh, yellow, lavender, purple. So today we're going to do that. I'm going to use the uh, NYX Ultimate Shadow uh, Brights Palette. You can also use a sleek palette, which I don't remember the name, but I do own that as well, which is um, also bright colors, BH Cosmetics, Morphe, uh, Coastal Sands, whatever you have. As long as it's got rainbowy colors, it will be fine. Um, and I'm also going to use a matte brow bone highlight, because this palette doesn't have one. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do first, um, I've already done my eyebrows, obviously, but now I'm going to prime my eyelids with a white eye primer. Okay, so far so good. It's spreading out well. Um, don't mind this huge zit on my face there. Anyway, uh, I gotta admit, I actually never before used this thing, I don't think at least, as a full-on eye primer. This is the Lit Lingerie by NYX, by the way. Like, seriously, I usually use it for stuff like eyeliner, cut creases, um, you know, painting stars on my eyelids, that sort of thing. Never before have I actually used it as a full-on complete eye primer, so I have no idea whatsoever uh, how this is going to last. I don't know if this isn't going to crease horrifically on my oily skin. That's always a tricky thing with oily skin. What works on someone else might not work on me because my skin doesn't... Um... Yeah, my skin just sort of like dissolves makeup sometimes. It's always a bit of a challenge. Now, I have a plan... I just made up a plan within like a split second, but still, we can pretend that I had a plan all along. I'm going to uh, apply lavender first, as you can see. That's going to be my transition shade. Then on the eyelid I'm going to apply yellow, and then the purple is going to be the darkest shade. And I might use it for an eyeliner, but that just depends on how dark I can get it. So, yeah, we'll see. It's going to be the darkest shade in the crease, probably, at any rate. But first off, I'm just going to build up this color enough that when I have my eyes open, you can actually see the lavender there. And this, in case you, like, didn't know, like, probably most of you know, because it's been a thing since, like, the very beginning of makeup tutorials on YouTube. Um, but a white base just makes colors pop more. On a nude base, this would have looked more... Well, it would have looked lavender-ish, but it would have looked lavender mixed with my skin tone, basically. Um, whereas now, it just really goes lavender. Which is what I want. I don't want it to be subtle. I want it to be there. Okay, it just occurred to me that this sort of is starting to look like a springtime look. Like, it really reminds me of, like, a flower with, like, the, the, the yellow center. Like, sort of a powdery yellow center and then these soft purple lavender leaves. I'm thinking of a specific flower here, but I don't know the name. But anyway, that is actually quite uh, fitable. Fit fitable? Fitting, suitable, combining words, doesn't work. Um, because I'm actually planning on going to a gardening store later today, so yeah, I might as well look appropriate. And then the outer corner is going to be dark purple. I'm going to use a very tiny brush for that to make sure I really keep it in an outer corner. And I'm thinking I might actually completely skip any form of eyeliner because I kind of feel like this just looks... I don't know, very nice and soft. Like, it's colorful, but it looks not necessarily natural. But it does look very nice and soft. So, yeah, I think I might actually want to keep it, like, more of a cute thing. Shocking. Now, while I'm actually trying to decide about the um, eyeliner or no eyeliner problem. <laughs> this is going to highlight my brow bone. I'm using a matte nude for this. Um, because everything else is matte too, so I think it's suitable. And big fluffy blender without any product on it to blend it all together. And I actually still think it looks quite wearable. 
Oké, okay, decision has been made. I'm going to do purple eyeliner, or at least I'm going to attempt to do one. I'm going to use my flat brush here. Um, and dampen it a little bit and dip it into the purple eyeshadow and hope that I can use it as a sort of gel eyeliner. Okay, um, I just um, remembered to wash and dampen my beauty sponges, I completely forgot. Anyway, um, we're at this point now, I think I'm actually going to do my face first and then add the rest of the eyeballs. Um, I don't feel like foundation today, so I'm going for a BB cream instead. Every time I grab this stuff, I think I use too much. Every time I think that, yet every single time I still end up using the exact same amount. But anyway, I want the natural finish of a BB cream, but I also want coverage. So I am actually applying a little bit of concealer in the same shades um, wherever I want some more coverage. I'm using the pointy side of the sponge now, um, just so I have a little bit more precision in where I'm actually putting the product. Then below my eyes, I am using a concealer with a very high coverage and blending it out. So powders on there too, I'm contouring now and I'm going to try to hide this spot over here with the contour as well. That's what happens when you apply a powder not with a damp beauty blender, but with a downward wet one. It goes weirdly patchy and um, yeah, that's my own fault entirely. Um, so I'm going to try to hide it. Okay, um, let's just keep it at that not everything can go right all the time. Um, so I'm just going to apply a peachy blush now because that's a safe option that really not a lot can go wrong with. For some reason I have the uh, Nightwish version of Phantom of the Opera stuck in my head. Not logical whatsoever, but anyway, I'm just going to ignore that and um, yeah, I'm just using the purple shades on the flat brush precisely the same way that I used it as an eyeliner before. But I'm just pushing it between my lower lashes now on the outer corners. And then I'm moving to the uh, fluffy, small fluffy blender and the purple lavender, well the lavender shade that I used as a transition shade in the beginning. And I'm just going to blend those two together. Just so there's a little bit of purple on the bottom as well without it being too much. To make it just a little bit darker I am actually putting a dark purple shade on the waterline to prevent this from being too much of a springtime look. Then the next dilemma, eyelashes. I think I'm actually going to go for falsies but I don't want huge falsies this time. I'm going to go for quite a natural pair I think. Um, of course if you don't want to use falsies you can always just use mascara instead, that's fine as well. Okay, hey, lashes are on. Don't ask me how long that took. Seriously, I have foam ink lashes that are actually easier to apply than these. For some reason, the lash band is just extremely stiff on these. Maybe I should clean them properly at some point in time. Anyway, I'm just applying a uh, purple undertone highlighter now. And with a bigger brush also on the rest of my face. Then on my lips, I'm putting a purplish nude shade. Then lastly some setting spray and we're done. <laughs> and 
and that leaves us with the final results. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button. It would really help me out. Uh, a full list, by the way, of all I stuffed on my face today can be found below the video in the description somewhere. Um, for now, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Bye.